What is antifreeze? Why does it prevent water from freezing and becoming ice? Let's start off by thinking about how ice actually forms. As you probably already know, water is made of H2O, or two hydrogen atoms bound to an oxygen atom. Water is also incredibly stable from a chemical point of view. Why does this stable bonding between these atoms happen? Hydrogen and oxygen form such stable bonds with each other due to a chemical phenomenon known as electronegativity. Oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen, so oxygen likes electrons more than hydrogen does. It pulls electrons away from hydrogen and towards itself, though these electrons are shared. When several molecules of water are together at a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, under normal conditions, ice will begin to form. This occurs when hydrogen bonds form between water molecules in a particular pattern that only occurs when a freezing temperature is reached. This hydrogen bonding observed is also due to differences in electronegativity between the oxygen and hydrogen atoms. Scientists refer to ice as a crystal lattice due to the shape of the structure on a chemical level. Antifreeze is made of a chemical compound called ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol has special qualities that make water unable to crystallize or form ice when it otherwise would at its freezing point of 0 degrees Celsius. Firstly, we should look at the structure of ethylene glycol. As you can see, on both sides of the two groups of carbon atoms, there are two OH, or hydroxyl groups, attached. These hydroxyl groups will form the same hydrogen bonds with water as it normally would with itself, but the reason it cannot freeze at a normal temperature is due to the presence of the two carbons attached to the hydrogens in the middle. Now, in short form, that is why ethylene glycol works the way it does. But now I will turn to a darker side of ethylene glycol and mention that it is extremely toxic and you should never ingest it. This toxicity is due to an enzyme in the body called alcohol dehydrogenase. Alcohol dehydrogenase will turn ethylene glycol into a toxic compound known as glycoaldehyde. Now let's take a moment to recognize how seemingly minor this change is that happens between ethylene glycol and glycol aldehyde. The only difference is that one of the hydrogens is missing and carbon is now double bonded to oxygen. That's the only difference and this one difference makes this compound extremely toxic to humans and animals. There have also been several cases of murder using ethylene glycol. For example, one Georgia woman named Lynn Turner, born on July 13, 1968, murdered her husband, Glenn Turner, in 1995 and another man who was her boyfriend, Randy Thompson, in 2001 by ethylene glycol poisoning. She was ultimately sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole.